In the realm of video games, the term Souls-like has become synonymous with challenging gameplay, intricate level design, and a punishing difficulty curve that demands skill and perseverance. These games draw inspiration from the Souls series which captivate players with their unforgiving difficulty and rewarding experiences. So here's a rundown of the top 10 Souls-like games that have captivated hardcore gamers around the globe. Starting off at number 10 is Blasphemous. If nothing else, Blasphemous is one of the creepiest, goriest and most frightening 2D games ever seen. The world is as messed up as ever, taking inspiration from religious imagery with a ramped up max brutality. It's hard to find a game that squeezes more horror out of a seemingly simple yet undeniably gorgeous pixel art style similar to Blasphemous. However, Blasphemous' brutal visuals soon proved to be the spiritual basis of its exceptional gameplay. Though Blasphemous features platforming, puzzles and navigation elements you'd perhaps expect to see in a more traditional 2D Metroidvania game, the Souls-like action makes the otherwise largely forgettable encounters in those games feel substantial and enjoyable. The only thing better than discovering an exceptionally well-animated finishing move is finally reaching that invaluable checkpoint and briefly reigniting hope in the unforgiving world. Beneath its drudgery is a compelling and dark tale waiting to be uncovered. If you are willing to endure its frustrations, you'll be rewarded with grim and spectacular visuals that'll be forever burned into your mind with an equally twisted story to match them. The game is perfect for those looking for a hardcore but subtle Souls-like game, as its combat is as solid as ever, with players quickly adapting to its controls in no time. Moving on to number 9 is Lies of P. There was a reason why Lies of P made such a splash when it was announced, going on to become one of the best-selling Souls-likes of all time. The amazing art style and world made it the perfect game for players who'd been clamouring for a sequel to one of From Software's best video games, Bloodborne. Perhaps no game on this list has gotten the look and feel of a From Software game down to a science like Lies of P has. One look at the game is enough to immediately understand that this is a Souls-like from developers that know the genre inside and out. Its world is uniquely haunting and creepy thanks to excellent enemy designs that turn puppets into horrifying monstrosities. Its combat has a completely different flavour thanks to the several mechanical changes on how dodge rolls and perfect parries work. Although sometimes it can be a bit too exhausting when it comes to the boss fights, the difficulty of this title rarely feels artificial, and players will have to make it a point to strengthen their character wisely so that combat encounters don't end up being too frustrating to deal with. If you're a hardcore Souls-like gamer, there's some enjoyment to be found in Lies of P. Its action is competent, atmosphere engrossing, and story very intriguing. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a game with a strong foundation and tweaked weapons which provide a unique experience similar to from soft games. Next on to number eight is Remnant 2. While many games on this list are notable for how well they nail the classic Souls-like formula, Remnant 2 is awesome for how much it bucks the system and does its own thing while still keeping all the best Souls-like bits. This sequel from Gunfire Games is lovingly referred to as Dark Souls with Guns and borrows a lot from looter shooters to create a very unique blend of Souls-like and FPS that's wholly unprecedented. Not only that, it's also an excellent co-op game best played with friends, where each player manages their own builds and works together to get through the extremely challenging boss fights and zones swarming with enemies that become unbelievably challenging on higher difficulties. While it's probably going to feel even tougher, there's a silver lining. With loads of different classes and weapons at your disposal, you might just find a strategy that works for you. And if you're really struggling, grab a buddy to join you on the journey, as it's always easier with a friend by your side. So join the battle to save humanity in a dynamically generated world, filled with branching quest lines, unique loot, and overwhelming odds that encourage exploration and game replayability.
Now, at number 7 is Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Wolong amped up its speed and action to create one of the best combat heavy games on this list. At the same time, Wolong is far more approachable for newer gamers than most Souls-like titles. For starters, the game flat out tells you what you're about to get into before you potentially die at the hands of the same boss over and over again. It follows the footsteps of its fellow Souls-like games by being extremely difficult for the inexperienced and unprepared. You'll be forced to learn how the enemies move and attack, and you'll get destroyed if you don't know how to avoid taking damage. Its action is blistering fast, brutal, and incredibly satisfying when played right. The first boss fight in Wolong Fallen Dynasty is right up there with the toughest first bosses in video game history. This opening battle puts you against Zhang Liang of the Yellow Turbans as you clash in a kinetic two-phase fight to the death. It's an intense skill check that challenges your prowess of Wo Long's mechanics almost immediately. In many ways, it feels like a rite of passage for the rest of the game and a bold statement of intent from developer Team Ninja. If you're craving for a fast-paced and hardcore action RPG built on satisfying combat, Wo Long ticks most of the right boxes. At number 6 is Lords of the Fallen. With a focus on tactical combat and a dark fantasy setting, Lords of the Fallen draws clear inspiration from the Souls series while introducing its innovations. The reboot brings a whole new flavour compared to the first game, and folks are appreciating the fresh direction the series is taking. Its killer new idea of swapping between two versions of the world to solve puzzles and slay enemies is an excellent twist to set it apart from other Souls-like games. It's not just a sequel or a mere redo. It's a completely new adventure that feels a lot like playing Dark Souls. Sure, you're still in for a challenge, with enemies popping up when you least expect them and tough bosses ready to test your patience. But what makes it really fun is the variety of weapons and classes you can experiment with. It's also great that many of the areas you fight your way through are legitimately challenging, often filled with elite enemies who swarm you with devastating attacks that often get you killed. A lot is borrowed from FromSoft classics, but there's also quite a bit of unique stuff to get excited about too. That includes things like some super cool dual reality shenanigans, a nifty magical lamp that lets you flay the souls right out of your enemies, or getting pulled into the Umbral Realm where you get new challenges and enemies to battle. With that much said, if you're hankering for a hardcore Souls-like game, one that goes back to the genre's sprawling mega dungeon roots, Lords of the Fallen has a lot to offer. At number 5 is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. After the fantastic release of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, it was only a matter of time until we got a follow-up. Star Wars Jedi Survivor takes everything Fallen Order did and improves upon them, making it even more better. Though at first it suffered from some performance issues, its story, gameplay and exploration have all been pushed up a notch. The game has a few things in common with typical Souls-like, where the player struggles to make progress in early areas, but later on backtracks the same area with more experience and a handful of new powers which enable him or her to overcome the once hard bosses. All the hard work they've done up to that point becomes instantly rewarded, and any Souls fan will understand the gratification and pride in that feeling very well. That is why many fans are hoping that Star Wars Jedi Survivor will not only maintain the Souls-like feel, but lean into it even more than Fallen Order did. Also, the ability to use multiple stances that can be swapped whenever you want helps give a small taste of the weapon variety we get in more traditional Souls games. Combat also feels great, making full use of the dodge and parry mechanics, while the core campaign has difficulty spikes that will test your Jedi combat expertise. But true combat mastery is tested in the optional fights that will put you against multiple Ogdos or Rancors, giving Souls fans what they crave for in the difficulty level. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is an excellent option for those wanting to dip their toes into the world of Souls-like games without dealing with the deeper elements of traditional Soul games.
Now, at number four is Sultan Sanctuary. Sultan Sanctuary is a tough 2D platformer that combines fluid combat with some great exploration to produce an unforgettable experience. One of the highlights of the game is its weapon system, with over 600 weapons and spells to find, craft and upgrade, meaning you can take down enemies and bosses however you choose. It wears its Dark Souls influence on its sleeve, taking all of the best elements from the series and projecting them into two dimensions. The atmosphere is bleak, the enemy designs are grotesque, and the difficulty is high. You'll find yourself dying a lot. However, the game rewards players who take their time tinkering with the game's features and expanding their combat options. The game also offers an intuitive skill system that heavily encourages deep customization in times of trial and error. These features, on top of challenging bosses, will definitely be rewarding to the players as they progress. So, if you're looking for a hardcore Souls-like game, but with a Metroidvania touch to it, then consider Salt and Sanctuary as it is wonderfully designed and weaves a tapestry thread that binds those two forms perfectly together. At number three is The Surge. The Surge is a futuristic Souls-like game which welcomes a new take on the Souls genre, which was once thought to be exclusively about medieval settings. The game implements dismemberment and localized damage as an important part of its combat system. It also offers a unique twist on the Souls-like formula by incorporating exoskeleton suits, and players must target specific body parts of enemies to upgrade their own gear. It's a hardcore game in the sense that it demands patience and attention to detail, but not punishing. Sure, when you die or rest at a med bay or bonfire, all the enemies respawn, and many of them can kill you in a couple of hits. And sure, you have to make it back to where you died to recover your tech scrap, but as with the Souls series, this isn't really a game about clearing an area and leveling up. It's about learning through repetition and deepening your understanding of the game. Knowing what part of an enemy to hit is almost as important as dodging or parrying, and although the gameplay is fun and the setting very unique, it suffers from sudden difficulty spikes that are really hard to deal with. But The Surge 2 improved on almost every single aspect of the game. Those changes did make the game easier than the predecessor, but considering that the first game had some strange difficulty spikes, it was all for the best. If you're a hardcore Souls fans and want something challenging but with a new twist, then go for The Surge, as it is an extremely accomplished version of that genre. Down to number two is Neo. Fans of Dark Souls will appreciate the flashier look of the Neo series, as it serves as a great love letter to the Souls franchise, thanks to its wealth of gameplay features and nuances. Players can finally create their own characters to explore the series' wonderful take on feudal Japan with a supernatural motif added to it. The game is perfect for those who are searching for a hardcore Souls-like, as the combat mechanics are deep and you need to learn the game's mechanics to survive in higher difficulties. In both the Neo series, everything moves at lightning speed. Demons and yokai can unleash entire combos in the time it would take you to swing the Havel's Dragon Tooth just once. This leads to quicker and more fluid gameplay, but it also leads to higher difficulty spike as there is literally less time to process and react. It all works well once you get used to it, but still makes quite the initial wall to climb. The start is arguably the hardest part of the game, and this is mainly due to the steep learning curve. But once you understand how the game works, it starts to become pretty basic and easy. In the latest sequel, Neo 2, players are now able to access yokai skills, which enable them to steal abilities from various enemies. This element, when paired with Neo 2's various weapons and intricate movement, make for an extremely compelling experience on top of the game's hard difficulty. I highly recommend the game as it will give players plenty of reason to experiment with different weapons and abilities. Lastly, at number one is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Possibly inspired by other studios' attempts to strip the Souls-like genre down to its essentials and explore new directions, the first from software game on this list 
is also considerably different from the rest of the studio's Souse-like experiences. Indeed, Sekiro's emphasis on stealth, posture and technique caught many genre fans by surprise and caused some to label this the most difficult Souls-like game yet. Maybe it is, but it's the purity of the Sekiro experience that separates it from the rest of the From Software collection and elevates it above so much of the competition. There is room for creativity in Sekiro's combat, but it largely demands that you master a certain style of play. That would be annoying if it wasn't for the fact that Sekiro features some of the smoothest and most satisfying melee combat you'll find in any modern action game. That focused form of play also apparently gave From Software permission to craft some of the most demanding and rewarding boss fights in a genre filled with exceptional examples of that classic concept. Sekiro continuously throws a variety of unique and challenging enemies at you that reliably ratchet up the pressure and complexity, bringing in a new twist on a familiar set of ideas that can stand on its own alongside its predecessors.